Hello everyone, I am Sandeep Reddy LAT. I am SAS certified programmer for BASE and I have learned CDISC both SDTM and ADAM datasets mapping and creation. And currently I am learning tables and listings. Today I am here to explain the assignment of creating a vital sign dataset. Before I move further into the topic, I would like to take a moment to express my gratitude for the opportunity. I am very thankful to the Statistical Academy for helping me to refresh my existing SAS programming and providing assignment for gaining practical knowledge of creating datasets. I am looking forward to learning more and sharing my knowledge. Let us move on to the program of creating the vital sign dataset. First thing is to have the program header in which we should have details of study identifiers, program name, we are currently working on vital science dataset. So the program name is vs.sas, purpose of the program is to create DTM vs dataset. As I am author of this program, my name is here, date of program creation, input datasets for us, the input dataset is vs underscore raw and based on mapping specifications, we creating the dataset. Output data set is SDTM VS. Next important thing in the program header is modification history. I have created the program header and later if there are going to be any updates in the program, we should have to create here in the modification history about the updates made. Who made the updates, modification date and modification description which will help us to track the changes in the program. After the program header, it is always a good practice to have the code that clears the work library. Whenever we rerun our program, this code will clear the work library. Ok. The valid var name equals upcase option makes the variable names in uppercase letters. This is also a good practice to have user defined format at the starting of our program so that can use them anywhere in our program after this step. Here I am creating two custom character formats. First one is test cd. For example, if the raw data value is overall underscore temperature, but in our final data set as per control terminology. For VS test CD, we should have the temp. Usually we can use if condition to do this. But if there are more tests, program would become too large. And to make it in effective way, it is good practice to create the custom formats. Second one is test character format VS test for VS test variable. Creating raw data library to access the raw data. Ok, I have written proc contents to check the descriptor portion of raw data set which will allow me to check all the raw data variables and their data types. We copy and paste in comments. Next. I did not call any macros but I have created a sorting macro to start sort multiple data sets in the program. Next step will create study id, domain, use of id variables. This step is taking vitals underscore raw data set from raw data library as per mapping specification whenever the study identifier raw data variable equals to 1 then study id should be 1 2 3 if 2 then 4 5 6 if 3 then 7 8 9 usually we will have to take study id u sub id variables from demographic data set by using the merging variable u sub id that is subject identifier next by using sorting macro, I am sorting datasets, study id, use of id, vs date, visit and visit num variables. Select the program and run. Yes, we successfully created. The 
then i am restructuring the data set using proc transpose procedure by study id u sub jd vs date visit and visit num variables i am transposing the variables i am transposing the variables dia bp sys bp pulse overall temperature height weight when we transpose the data set these variable values will be in call one variables and these variable names will be in underscore name underscore variable if there are any labels for this variables they will be in the underscore label underscore variable then in next step i am going to use put function on the underscore name underscore variable with the formats that we have created at the starting of our program to create vs test cd and vs test variables next i am creating the variables vs or esu variable which is of our original units in which the data were collected vs str esu which is standardized unit used for vs str esc and vs str esn one important thing to note here is wherever the original results is missing then we should not populate original units here i am converting call1 call1 variable to character format for vs ores variable that is result of the vital signs measurement as originally received if the original results for temperature is in fahrenheit then we should convert it celsius for vs str esc variable that contains the result value for all findings copied or derived from vs or es in a standard format or standard units vs str esc should store all results or findings in character format if results are numeric they should also be stored in numeric format in vs str esn for example if a test has original results non negative or negative in vs or res and these results are effectively have the same meaning they could be represented in the standard format in vs str esc as negative select the program yes we successfully created next i am transposing the vs time variables to merge back to the main data set i am sorting the all data sets here in this step i am merging all three data set by study id u sub jd vs date first select and run check log for any errors okay log is clear as per specification is the completion underscore status raw data variable equals to zero then vs stat variable should be assigned to not done vs stat variable is used to indicate that a vital sign measurement was not done it should be null if a result exists in vs ores vs res and d is assigned to reason not done raw data variable vs raw data reason not done variable describes why measurement or test was not performed visit variable is protocol defined description of clinical encounter next important variable is vs dtc for this i have converted the raw data vs date variable to yy mmdd10 character format and time raw data variable to character time format and i have concatenated date and time variables separated by t vs dtc is the date and time of the vital signs assessment 
represented in ISO 86 character format. Select the program and execute the program. Your yeah, reason not done, we successfully created. VSDTC also successfully created. Visit VSTAT. All this. Next, I am sorting the data by study ID, usage ID, VSDTC, VSTSTD, VSDTC to get the data in chronological order with in each subject. Okay. Using retain statement and first dot, I am deriving VS sequence variable by study ID, usage ID, VS DTC, VS test CD. VS sequence variable is sequence number given to ensure uniqueness of records within each subject. Finally, I am adding column attributes by proc SQL. Yes, we successfully created VS sequence. Select the program. Execute. Yeah, we successfully created VS dataset final. That's it and I am looking forward to work on these kinds of assignments. Also, I appreciate this platform of Statistical Academy for allowing us to share our experiences with data and programming. Thank you all for watching and please let me know your questions and thoughts on the topic. Also, please let me know if you find any mistakes which will help me to improve myself. Thank you so much and please don't forget subscribe and share this wonderful platform of Statistical Academy.